guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to look at this post over here in the Dokkan subreddit by Solar RDT. Um, this is going over the sub EZAs that will be coming up. Now, the sub EZAs, I think, are, are really like more of the more important units in the game moving forward. I think for a lot of old time players um, and for a lot of these category teams, right? A lot of these sort of like sub EZA units just become major, major relevant on a lot of these sort of, like, category teams, and it's just a real, like, buff to have some of these characters, um, sort of available, right? Like, th this is what, a lot of these characters are what I've been focusing on link leveling, uh, leading up to these new Super Battle Road stages. Now that there's new Super Battle Road stages, I'm link level grinding characters that potentially could help for, like, no item runs over there, but... Like, that's, you know, pretty much um, what I've been focused on, link level grinding for a while. Now, the last one we got uh, was, what's his name? Uh, Sin Shenron. Now, Sin is a bit controversial. Some people will say he's outright bad. I am not all the way, I don't think so. I mean, he could get to, like, you know, 300k defense pretty easily with just another Shadow Dragon unit around. That's not bad, but... His damage is definitely bad. He's the thing about Sin Shenron is he's on ridiculously tiny teams like Inhuman Deeds, Shadow Dragon Saga, and GT bosses. Like not teams that are all the way there that could use any help it could possibly get. So his sub EZA was good. So let's go ahead and take a look what Solar has uh, built up right here. So the first one we have right here is Tech. Super Saiyan Trunks. Now, I do think that the next one in line is actually the two base Vegitos next. But, like, we, we start with that Tech Trunks. That's fine. He's on a lot of teams. It It's hard to say exactly how good um this Trunks is going to be here. Let me just pull up. Uh, I already went by Hybrid Saiyans tonight. Yeah, here's Hybrid Saiyans right here. We can go ahead and pull him up. Um, and I'll probably just pull up the Fierce Battle filter as well. Where is he? There he is right here. Yeah, he's he's old. This guy's old. He came out with physical or yeah, physical Vegito Blue. So this tech trunks, right? Um, his EZA, he's gonna be a sub EZA from the physical Vegito Blue EZA. Um, that's where this trunks right here is going to actually EZA. Um, it's impossible to know what he's gonna do. Because you look at that passive, 80% attack when facing only one enemy. He oh my god, he raises attack for six turns. Dude, they could, yeah, they could, if, oh, God, if he gets the 50% attack and defense for six turns that the Bio Broly trio got, this guy could be a monster. Look at all the category teams he's on. These teams, we need a lot of, like, I know Dokkan has released, like, infinite amount of Trunkses, but, like, these teams need help. Vegeta Family, Time Traveler, Future, Hybrid Saiyan, Bond of Master and Disciple, Revenge. All these teams need the help. So this guy would be major. Now, the two base Vegitos are going to be getting easy A's as well. I mean, this one, it's going to be hard to see exactly what's going to happen with the two base Vegitos, right? Because I don't think they're going to be better than LR Vegito Blue. That's not going to happen. But, I mean, they'll still be great on, like, the Boo Saga team. You know, you definitely could get, like, some, some good spots where they could be helpful, right? Uh, especially that Tech Vegito, who is a support, could be crazy. But, I mean, who knows what they do with Int Vegito. Um, then we get SDR Zamasu. Now, SDR Zamasu, I actually am have some hopes for. We need SDR Zamasu to be a little bit better. Um, because Goku Black needs help bad. LR Rose needs help. I mean, I don't know that SDR Zamasu is the best linking partner for him. They have... Is it just Dismal Future, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle? That's not even that great. Um, but he would be good. If, like, they really built up the immortality, the defense, and the healing with this guy, that could be good. But, I mean, he would be... He was needed, right? Extreme Class Realm of Gods needs to help. Patara, Future, Dragon Ball Seeker, Time Traveler. Again, these teams actually really could use the help. Um, so I have high expectations for this SCR Zamasu. And, again, he EZAs from the AGL Rosé um, EZA. So, like, the next couple of sub-EZAs we probably will get would be SDR Zamasu, um, the Tech Trunks, uh, the two base Vegitos. I expect the base Vegitos will be next, but we will see. Um, 
Then the trio of blue Vegetas are going to get their EZA. Now that's going to be awesome because, I mean, we're talking three units. The physical blue Vegeta, the STR blue Vegeta, and the AGL blue Vegeta. They are going to be a massive help. Look at the teams, dude. Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyan, Movie Hero, Vegeta Family, Sibling Bond, Worthy Rival, uh, Master and Disciple, Gift of Warriors. Just a lot of teams, right? Hopefully... Like, I like what they did with the AGL Blue Goku. Remember his sub-EZA? But the tech Blue Goku, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, hopefully, they do really good things with uh, these three right here. I, I would like if, you know, maybe they make, like, the STR Blue Vegeta is just, like, all damage. Maybe the, the AGL Blue Vegeta is, like, you know, damage and defense. Like, just make them different, I think, is a really, really good idea. Um, but three sub I mean, these are characters that have been out forever, right? Now, this one is actually mega important. The two Super Trunkses. Um, the reason this is so important is, again, I, I talked about Trunks and all the buffs he needs. But specifically, the Super Trunkses, there's an extra category they have that needs help. And that is the Heavenly Events category. Oh, man, he's also on Connected Hope, Savior, Rapid Growth android slash cell saga all those teams just need so much help dude so it's going to be real like if these two super chunks the str and physical ones can actually be really good it would be just a major win because again look at all those small shitty categories and then heavenly events in particular um you know the new dokkan fest kid gohan really wants a heavenly events category ally on rotation to help build up hit both his attack and his defense right doesn't really need it for the defense but for his attack to be looking good he does want a heavenly events character so these trunks will be good there i really wish they would easy a these two immediately um agl 17 and the intel fighter 17 lr super 17 needs him right now this second not later. We need them right now to buff, uh, well, I guess they would be buffing, like, Android, Target Goku, Artificial Life Form, you know, stuff like that. Unfortunately, they would not be buffing GT bosses, because it's the stupidest thing in the world. They're, like, the only GT villains not on there. Um, so then we have these three right here. Um, STR, Spirit Bomb Goku, in Spirit Bomb Vegeta, and then Tech Super Boo. All get Dokkan Awakening or, you know, sub-EZAs from the Kid Buu EZA. Um, they could be interesting. The thing about those units, right, is that, like, Vegeta is on, like, all-out struggle, right? Goku is on Connected Hope. So, like, again, these small bad categories, like, actually getting, like, legitimate options would be very, very good to see, right? So that's, again, one of the, the real main major things that we're going to be seeing from these sub-EZAs is small categories um, actually would get the help that they really, really badly need, right? Um, and then, of course, Super Boo. Uh, Super Boo is not exactly that strong of a named character right now. I mean, you have STR Super Boo, but, like, he needs an ECA too, dude. Like, uh, so that tech Super Boo could be a really nice addition to the Majin Power Team, especially if he's going to be healing like crazy, which he definitely could be, right? Um, that tech Super Boo, you know, healing like crazy alongside all these other healing Majin Power units could be really good to see. Um, then we have, uh, uh, the... Bardock trio uh, yet again like look at these teams exploding rage crossover power of revival warriors of legend like these are like supports and stuff like that too the tech Bardock the physical super saiyan Bardock and then the STR super saiyan 2 Bardock that might actually be like the single most like dude so, I am actually so pumped for like these three like the super chunks is, these two and then this one are just like so crazy like, these teams need it so bad. I'm very excited for all these sub-EZAs, dude. These are needed so badly. Um, PyCon will EZA from the Int Gogeta um, EZA. Uh, I mean, PyCon is on teams that need help, right? Like, certainly if he they make him really good and he's on, like, Warriors of Legend, Otherworld Warriors, you know, worthy rivals, there's definitely, like, teams that need the help. Now, this is going to be crazy. So, these are from the Int UI Goku EZA. 
STR God Goku, AGL God Goku, and the STR Blue Goku. The reason this is good is because this is the only Blue Goku in the future category. Future needs it bad. They really... I, I would be okay if they gave us some crazy, like, Blue Kaioken Goku from the future arc. I think that could be a good idea for them to do as well. Just, like, a new unit. But, like, that Goku will buff future. The God Goku would be great for Universal Survival Saga. Although, the only problem with God Goku and Universal Survival Saga is that he does not have a turn the turn of power link, right? So, that, that hurts him on that team that's so cohesive because all those units have that. And then that God Goku does not. But he's still on, you know, so many category teams, right? Miraculous Awakening. Um, I mean, an extra addition to Reps of Universe 7 is not bad. The, the AGL God Goku is probably not as important as the other t two, potentially. Is the SCR one on Movie Heroes? He is. Yeah, th this that's more important to me. This guy on Movie Heroes. So, if Dokkan was smart, maybe they'll push this one out before the 2022 Dragon Ball Super movie comes. Get us an extra God Goku right there. Or do a God Goku Dokkan Fest would work as well. Um, we have the two Gotenks right here. The AGL Super Saiyan Gotenks and then the base SCR Gotenks. Uh, they, of course, will be hugely important because, again, just like the Super Trunks is, they're actually also now on the Heavenly Events category, which would help out uh, the Dokkan Fest Gohan a lot, especially because, you know, they're on Youth together, they're on Hybrid Saiyan together, you know, so it would make that kid Gohan a little bit more powerful um, on other category teams besides just, you know, Heavenly Events, which would be good. Um, Tech Tapion. Another unit we kind of need right away, just because LR Tapion is really good, and the AGL Tapion, EZA is really good, but they need help. Um, like, like they need more Tapion units to be better. Um, and then finally, we have the Super Saiyan 4. These, these guys are a long way away. Super Baby 2 and this Trunks, both of which we badly need. And then Pan and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Goku... Trunks, baby, them easying anytime soon would be so good. I mean, dude, look at baby. Baby is on like every, like baby is like Moro, where he's on like every villain team basically. So baby would just be a massive buff to all these teams and would be really good. So also the second one. So these are oddities, right? So this Goku awakens from Nimbus medals. Uh, you could actually toss in AGL Super Vegeta with this guy as well. Uh, honestly, um, so, uh, I, I, this Goku needs a buff, but I, I expect eventually this Goku right here, like, you know, the, the Goku that finishes freeze off on Namek, I do expect him to eventually be like the best unit in the game, like get like a summonable LR with like the best unit in the game, but AGL Super Vegeta, Again, who also awakens from these Nimbus medals right here. His EZA, I cannot wait for. Um, this Boo right here, I would assume this Boo is going to EZA. I, I kind of expect him to come up kind of soonish, maybe. I mean, he does awaken from the Buhan medals, though, right? Like, he came out with SCR Ultimate Gohan, but he awakens from the actual, like, Buhan medals. So, we'll see. The Int Buhan one. Um, this guy right here, yeah, th this guy's probably going to be, I agree, an EZA area, uh, and will be used in one of the LR EZA areas at some point. These two, I mean, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku being good would be sick. Um, uh, here's the thing with this, they awaken with Janemba and Gogeta medals, that's only on global. So, I mean, we, we'll see what they do with these guys. These two also, um, you know, th yeah, they got their Dokkan Awakenings with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I imagine, you know, maybe potentially easing from Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's easy would make sense. Um, but these two, again, just like some of these other, like, you know, Vegeta cards and stuff like that, they would help out a lot of teams. And then this guy, uh, yeah, no idea what's going to happen with him, but he would be an interesting EZA as well. Again, when I look at these sub EZAs, I'm mostly looking at their help in, like, Battlefield and on smaller category teams, right? Um, that's where we could mainly see them helping a lot of people. So let me know which, uh, sub EZA you guys are looking forward to the most here. Um, thanks guys for watching. Shout out to Solar RDT for putting this together. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time.